guys, this is Declaration of Conscience by Margaret Chase Smith. Mr. President, I would like to speak briefly and simply about a serious national condition. It is a national feeling of fear and frustration that could result in national suicide and the end of everything that we Americans hold dear. I speak as briefly as possible because too much harm has already been done with irreprensible words of bitterness and selfish political opportunism. I speak as briefly as possible because the issue is too great to be obscured by eloquence. I speak simply and briefly in the hope that my words will be taken to heart. I speak as a Republican. I speak as a woman. I speak as a United States Senator. I speak as an American. The United States has long enjoyed worldwide respect as the greatest deliberative body in the world, but recently that deliberative character has too often been debased to the level of forum of hate and character assassination sheltered by the shield of congressional immunity. I think that it is high time for the United States Senate and its members to do some soul searching for, for us to weigh our consciousnesses on the manner in which we are performing our duty to the people of America, on the manner in which we are using or abusing our individual powers and privileges. I think it is high time that we remembered that we have sworn to uphold and defend the Constitution. I think that it is high time that we remembered the Constitution as amended speaks not only of the freedom of speech, but also of trial by jury instead of trial by accusation. Whether it be a criminal prosecution in court or a character prosecution in the Senate, there is little practical distinction when the life of a person has been ruined. Those of us who shout the loudest about Americanism in making character assassinations are all too frequently those who, by our own words and acts, ignore some of the basic principles of Americanism. The right to criticize. The right to hold unpopular beliefs. The right to protest. The right of independent thought. The exercise of these rights should not cost one single American citizen his reputation or his right to a livelihood, nor should he be in danger of losing his reputation or livelihood merely because he happens to know someone who holds unpopular beliefs. Who of us doesn't? Otherwise, none of us could call our souls our own. Otherwise, thought control would have set in. As an American, I am shocked at the way Republicans and Democrats alike are playing directly into the communist design of confuse, divide, and conquer. As an American, I don't want a Democratic administration whitewash or cover-up any more than I want a Republican smear or witch hunt. As an American, I condemn a Republican fascist just as much as I condemn a Democrat communist. I condemn a Democrat fascist just as much as I condemn a Republican communist. They are equally dangerous to you and to me and to our country. As an American, I want to see our nation recapture the strength and unity it once had when we fought the enemy instead of ourselves. It is with these thoughts that I have drafted what I call a Declaration of Conscience.